Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be tackling performance issues in Elden Ring and Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree on high-end Intel CPUs. So the system I'm using is an Intel 13900K with an RTX 4090. So let's jump in and see what Elden Ring does without any changes. So here we are heading into the main part of Elden Ring and I have the settings maxed out. I have ray tracing on everything. This game should no problem run at 60 FPS locked with an RTX 4090 and an Intel 13900K. And now, as you can see, as you traverse the camera at a high rate of speed, you get a significant amount of frames dropped, upwards of 20 to 30 frames per second dropped as you're doing camera traversal at high speeds. And everyone knows that this game the camera spins a lot as you're fighting bosses. So that is not going to be a good time when you're trying to fight a boss and move the camera at high rates of speed. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this problem by changing some settings in the Windows registry as well as the power settings. To make these changes, we're gonna go down and search for registry editor. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna go into the actual registry editor. Now, a disclaimer that if you make changes in here that are not good, you could potentially farm your system. So what I would recommend is taking an export of your default settings and keeping those somewhere safe so that if you do make changes that you don't like, you can very easily revert them back using the import right here. So again, make these changes at your own discretion and your own risk. However, I'm going to walk you through what I'm going to change to help Elden Ring run a little bit better. So first, we're going to come to the computer drop down. Then we're going to go to H key local machine. Then we're going to go to system current control set. We're going to go to control. We're going to scroll all the way down to power. Then we're going to go to power settings. And we're going to look for this string of numbers and letters right here 54533251-82BE-4824-96C1-47B60B740D00. Then we're going to scroll down all the way to 93B8B6DC-0698 8 dash 4d 1c dash 9 ee 4 dash 0 6 4 4 e 9 0 0 c 8 5 d from here we can double click on attributes and we can make this change to zero and hit ok now if you want to see what the description of this is go ahead and double click on description and this is going to specify what thread scheduling policy to use on heterogeneous systems and we can hit OK to close out of that. And what this is gonna do is change how your system works with thread handling. And we are going to prioritize performance cores over E cores. Since Elden Ring's engine doesn't know how to differentiate, we're gonna force it to use performance cores. So we can go ahead and close out of this. We can go down here to search and type in control panel launch the control panel, search for power. We're gonna go choose a power plan and then whatever power plan you wanna use for gaming, if you use a different one while you're gaming, go ahead and select that one. But we're just gonna hit change plan settings. Then we're gonna go change advanced power settings. We're gonna scroll down to processor power management and we're going to expand heterogeneous thread scheduling policy and we're going to do prefer performant processors and we're going to hit apply and then hit OK and we can close that out. Now we can relaunch Elden Ring and see what kind of performance increases that we're going to gain from that simple change. So here we are back in Limgrave and we're going to try out the camera traversal to see if any changes are going to occur. And wow, this is a lot smoother. I mean, we're dropping max of 10 frames, it looks, versus a max of around 20 to 30. 
So this is a significantly smoother experience already. You can see in the frame time graphs and the frame rate that it is a much smoother, less stuttery experience. Now, there's definitely gonna be a little bit of traversal and frame drops. I don't think you're really gonna get around that. I think that's just how Elden Ring is optimized. So I think that this change actually worked really well. Forcing the Intel CPU to use as performance cores over its E cores really changed how this game operates and how smooth it is. But can we push Elden Ring a little bit further? For this tool called Lossless Scaling, you can get on the Steam store for $6.99 or $5.59. And this is going to bring upscaling to any game that doesn't have it natively built in and their latest update introduced frame generation so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to optimize elden ring with some frame generation to see if we can get a more stable experience while still keeping the graphic setting as high as possible so here's lossless scaling we're at a lossless frame generation 2.1 with an x2 rate we can go ahead and hit scale and click in Elden Ring so that we can get the frame generation. And wow, does this make a huge difference. Now, you may not be able to see this because YouTube does not do more than 60 frames per second, but I personally can feel the difference in the smoothness of Elden Ring. Those stutters that I was feeling before feel a lot less large and an overall better experience so if you're interested in pushing elden ring a little bit further lossless scaling is a great way to get some frame generation into elden ring even though it is not inherently built in it's just so much smoother with this for me i think this is going to make elden ring a much more enjoyable experience now Overlays are not going to pick up the generated frames from lossless scaling, which is why I don't have the overlay up, but it is definitely working. I can feel a huge difference. So as you just saw, we took a 30 FPS drop with camera traversal, and we took that down to about 10 frames per second, maybe even five frames per second in most instances. The frame time graphs look a lot better. And there were a little bit of traversal stutters, but I think that is just inherent to the engine as it's loading new areas and culling different objects in the world. So I don't know that we're going to be able to get around that too much. But overall, I was extremely happy with the changes that I saw, and it took the game from being a lot less playable to a lot more playable. And then add in lossless scaling with its frame generation and you actually have a really usable and enjoyable way to play Elden Ring, especially with a high-end Intel CPU that's having issues with the game engine. I hope this helped you resolve some of the issues that you might have been seeing in Elden Ring, and if you have a less powerful system and these changes helped you, let us know in the comments below so that we can help out as many people as possible with this. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.